Hi guys, this is another problem of code forces and that is the shortest path of the king. So let's dive straight into the problem. And they told uh, the king is left alone on the chessboard. In spite of his loneliness, he doesn't lose heart because he has business of national importance. Just the story. So for example, he has to pay an official visit to square T. As the king is not in habit of wasting his time, he wants to get from his current position square, uh, position S to square T in the least number of moves. Yeah, so basically, if you know the uh, game of chess and if you know the role of king, right? If a king is in a position, he can just move only one step. Either he can move diagonally or he can move on the adjacent side. Okay, so he have like uh, eight possible moves. So in the question, they are telling that if uh, S is the path the king is residing, he have to move to some other path called as T in the minimum steps possible. Okay, so he can just move only one step at a time anywhere okay that shows a common vertex or a common side okay so our aim is to find the uh, how many uh, steps minimum steps he need and what is the direction he should follow so they gave the direction either he can follow left right up down or diagonals left up left down right up right up so we see a small example here that is a8 and h1 he are saying seven steps so a8 the king is here and h1 also the king is here and uh, everything is right down so from here he does diagonally that is right down right down right down right down right down so he can also go like this but uh, we know that uh, according to pythagoras theorem or something the shortest path between two uh, dots will be a straight line right so here uh, can he we'll see that he can move like this but does a straight line exist between these two yes it exists so that's why they gave this problem so to understand further, let's take an example and try to find out. So uh, this is one sample example. Okay. So let's say, let me take a pen. Okay. So let's say uh, the king is in uh, B1 here and uh, he wants to go to E6. Okay. So how can he go? He can go to B2E. And then from 1 to 6, he can travel or he can go like this one, this anything. So what did we say? The shortest point, we have to see uh, uh, the distance in a diagonal format. So that we are pretty sure that in diagonal, uh, the distance will be minimum. Correct? So from here, he moves straight here till E. He can't move further, right? Because there is no use he have to move here. From here, he moves a straight up. Then he reaches here so i can guarantee and say that this is the smallest possible path so here if he moves here like one two three four five six seven eight here means one two three four five so you got it now how do we derive it let's find out now before that we need to find out the start what is the start here let's write it down so start they mentioned as b1 and what is the end? That is the target. This is the place where king resides and this is the place where the target resides. That is E6. Okay. Now, if you, uh, okay, before uh, doing that, let's see the distance between B and D. So that is the horizontal difference. Okay. Let's call it a horizontal difference. We calculate it as B minus E. So in ASCII values, if we do it, it will be simply 1, 2, 3. It will be minus 3, right? Okay, now one more thing is, if the king is here and if you want to move to somewhere on the right side, we got it as a negative value. So we can say that, we can directly say that the horizontal character will be, if it is a negative value, 3 is the magnitude and negative is the direction. And if it's a negative value, if it's a horizontal one, we have to mark it as a right. If it's a positive value, that is if king is here, and the target is here we say e minus b that is 3 it will be a positive value so we give as left that's it and the same thing we do for uh, vertical difference as well so why are we doing it let's figure out like vertical difference how much we do start minus 100 that is 1 minus 6 what is 1 minus 6 minus 5 so we got the magnitude as 5 that is from here to here okay and if it's a negative value Think logically, if the king wants to move from here to here, he have to move up, right? And if the king wants to move from positive, that is from here to here, it will be 6 minus 1 or something like that, right? So he have to move down. These are complementary. 
Now, uh, I told you that uh, to make it simpler, we say that uh, the shortest distance uh, is a diagonal possible. Yes, the diagonal has been possible. And how do we choose which diagonal to be there? So here also one line will be there. Here also one line will be there. You can put here, you can uh, just stretch the vertical also here and you can do this horizontal also here. For simplicity, let's take horizontal should be here. That means uh, the minimum of diagonal is the minimum of horizontal difference and vertical difference so horizontal difference and vertical difference so if you see that right this is horizontal is minimal this is one two three and this is what one two three four five so we took uh, this value as the diagonal what is horizontal difference that is minus three okay so minus three means three units one two three and if you see the diagonal value also will be the same one two three so we got right so if it's a diagonal they gave a format here if you notice properly the diagonal should be in this format it should be left left means horizontal up means vertical horizontal vertical horizontal vertical like that so if it's a diagonal what we need to do this is a diagonal we need to iterate something three times how to do that horizontal character plus vertical character we need to append three times and from this what did we get as horizontal character it is right and what is the vertical character that is a negative value that is u so three times we have to put ru so here it will be ru 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 okay so minimum value we took we converted as diagonal we reached here now we have to move from here to here how do we know it let's find out so uh we took the minimum value right now what is the leftover one that is the maximum value so what is the maximum value of vertical difference or horizontal difference vertical difference is the maximum value that is minus 5 out of this 5 this 3 is already taken that is the minimum value this path is already covered we don't have to cover it as a diagonal so that is 5 minus 3 how much we get the value as 2 units so for 2 units what should be the direction we'll see the same uh, vertical difference direction that is minus 2 correct so if minus 2 means what is it so two units up so it will be up and up that's it up here and up here so it's exactly like the same now second thing before moving on to it let's see the code and uh, try to uh, trace that so for that let's say this time we'll do it with horizontal okay so let's say this is here uh, this is where the start position is and this is the target so let me minimize myself uh let me try to open the code yeah so this is the code as i told you earlier how should we do it we'll trace the code right so we take uh the differences so here what do we get start is b phi start is b phi and what is the end that is target that is uh g4 it's just like an excel sheet so it's that simple now we take what horizontal difference what is the horizontal difference b minus g right how much so one two three four five so horizontal difference we got it as negative five and how much is the vertical difference so that is five minus four this is b minus g okay and this is five minus four that is one it's a positive value this is a negative value now second thing is we have to know what is the direction of horizontal character if it's a negative value we already told uh, so here i wrote like if horizontal difference is negative we take horizontal character as right so as you see here we have to move right side only it's valid now uh, what is the vertical character value vertical character we got as positive if it is positive if it's negative it's u by default i marked it as down so it's a positive down value okay only with these two characters we'll be solving it that is right and down are the only uh, attributes here now uh, before proceeding uh, they also asked how many number of steps do we need to solve this so for that i'll tell you if we do from diagonally to here or let's say the previous example diagonally to this or straight line it what if i tell you the number total number of steps is the max length of the 
horizontal and the vertical you can just validate it is one two three four five one two three four five so it is just the maximum length so total number of steps they gave us seven here right uh this one this seven so those are the maximum steps that will be just be the uh maximum length here maximum is the horizontal one now uh, what is the next step we have to find the diagonal i find the minimum diagonal by what uh you see here right horizontal difference comma vertical difference so what is the minimum of horizontal difference or vertical difference vertical difference is small so we get diagonal as one unit so how should i write diagonal it should be of the format horizontal character vertical character so what is horizontal character here that is r vertical character is d so r d you iterate it one time r d is done so how, what did i do now i just implemented r d now this thing is left so for this we have to check uh, what is the max value max value we get absolute of horizontal difference comma vertical difference what is the max value that is 5 so max difference is the horizontal difference that is 5 out of this 5 what uh, this one is already covered so i need four more units to be covered these four units are 1 2 3 4 okay that's understood now what is this for it's a vertical one or a negative one we don't know we just found the maximum and it returns something we don't know which uh, difference it returns horizontal or vertical so for that we'll check with this uh, magnitude if the horizontal difference magnitude that is absolute value is greater than vertical absolute value horizontal character we'll put here in our case horizontal difference magnitude is greater than vertical difference so we put horizontal uh, character that is r so we have four here r again how did we get four four is simply the maximum value minus the diagonal that is simply the minimum value okay minimum value and diagonal both are same r we put four times so here r d r r r r so this is the total things so again i'll repeat so the maximum number of steps is the max difference that is here you see right horizontal difference or vertical difference whatever be the maximum value that will be the maximum number of steps that uh, is reached to do that is needed uh, for the king to reach the target that's it thank you guys and please uh, leave your comments below and kindly subscribe